Greetings, Earthlings, Wisdom Keepers, Wisdom Seekers. Welcome back to Wisdom Drops, your source for daily drops of wisdom and savvy cat astrology. My name is Tanya, and today we are talking about the times that we are in. In the last video I just posted, if you have not seen it, I talked about the three primary square aspects currently happening in the heavens. In this video, we're talking not just about the planets like I did in the last video, so if you haven't seen it yet, check it out. But we're also going into the signs that the planets are actually squaring in, and that's going to give us more insight as to why we're seeing looting going on, as to why we're seeing uh, protests that start peaceful turn violent, and why we're seeing really the collective speak up about underlying issues that we've been dealing with, but not dealing with as a society. So moving right along, a quick review of those three square aspects, and we're going to dive right on in. First, we have a Sun square Mars. Then we have a Mercury square Moon. Then we have a Uranus square Saturn. Now, for the signs that those squares are happening in, okay, the Sun is in Gemini, and it's squaring Mars and Pisces. Now, Mars and Pisces is significant because Mars, as I said in the previous video, is action warriors, like standing up for yourself, all this violent stuff that we're talking about, but it's like violence for a reason. There's a purpose. That's Mars. It has a purpose, okay? But it's significant that it's in Pisces. Why? Why? Because Jupiter, which is the planetary ruler of Pisces, is currently transiting Capricorn in a conjunction, mind you, with Pluto, which is the planet of death, rebirth, transformation, psychological just revamp status okay and so Jupiter is not happy in the sign of Capricorn it doesn't like it so it's like in detriment or in fall or whatever it's not happy there so it's like not a good indication of Mars and Mars meaning that Mars is going to manifest in a more violent way versus like a more spiritual way or whatever which isn't to say that the violence is without spirit but I think you get my point digression over moving forward we have um you know Pisces being very watery people are in their feelings okay and the sun being in Gemini it's like analytical uh, almost assertion energy playing out because those are the two engines of the zodiac uh, Mars and the sun so you know intellectual assertion because the sun being Gemini is very intellectual and it's also cranial and it's saying look this, this, and this has been going on for far too long. This systematic whatever, oppression, all sorts of things that have been going on for so long now, you know, we're not going to take it anymore because it's a square aspect. And as you've seen in my previous videos, if you've watched them, that's a manifesting degree. So things are manifesting now and it's in a more violent flavor because not only are we having these three squares, but it's all eclipse season, y'all. But moving on to the second square, because that's the topic at hand. The second square is Mercury square the moon. Now, Mercury, okay, is our planet of intellect, and that's currently in Cancer, okay? And the moon is currently in the sign of Virgo. So Virgo, again, echoing this analytical thing of uh, the Gemini energy with the Sun square Mars aspect happening, because Virgo, like Gemini, is also ruled by Mercury, which is the planet of communication, thought, and general intelligence, okay? Now, that is literally our collective consciousness is geared right now towards like, what do we need to fix? What is wrong? What do we need to address? And the violent addressing of that comes with the final square aspect, which is again, Saturn square Uranus with Uranus being in Taurus, that's earth. So literally like the planet's energies are awakening and rising up and the planet being like people as representatives of the planet, as well as different climate events and mass. I mean, there's so many things happening on the planet right now, y'all. You cannot deny that Uranus is officially in Taurus you feel because the planet is feeling the electricity in terms of the different just headlines that are even out there these days I mean this whole virus thing everything moving right along though because we're keeping this brisk okay the Uranus being in Taurus is squaring as I said Saturn and Aquarius Aquarius rules the people and not only that but Saturn is the planetary ruler of Aquarius in ancient astrology so it's very much so the social systems Saturn and Aquarius are being in conflict with surprise, with rebel energy, with liberator, with freedom fighter energy, standing up for Taurian things, things of value, people's value, Taurus, okay? The earth, okay? We see the Amazon rainforest and what's been happening there. I could go on and on and on, but the systems are having to deal with this and that's what the people are bringing you know, because Uranus is squaring Saturn and the people are manifesting at a 90 degree angle, the conflict. And not only that, but check it, check it, check it. You heard it here on Wisdom Drops. I'm proliferating the prophecy because Mars is about to enter Aries and end the year out in the sign of Aries. We're going to finish the entire half of 2020 with Mars in its own blessed sign, Aries. You know how strong that is? Not only is that strength in general, but that strength for the people because Aries is an individual person. So we're 
we're gonna see, mark my words, y'all, mark them. We're gonna see more charismatic leaders come forward who are standing for something. It's that Mars energy. Remember that general energy, you stand for something. You don't just stand strong for nothing. You stand strong for something because why else would you be standing strong? Every good warrior understands that you have a cause. But point being, you know, these are the energies that we're having play out. And to finish off that Mercury moon square, uh, Mercury's in Cancer, issues of the home. Okay, issues of what feels home, what feels like home, and it's been violated because it's squaring Mercury saying we need to bring this to light. So with that said, make sure you subscribe because I put out daily drops of wisdom and savvy cat astrology. And um, like this video if it brought you any value, share it with a friend, etc, etc. You know what to do, savvy social media. -er. With that said, until next time and through next time, may the stars be with you. Peace.